Now that you can use your GPT AI Power Auto Writer, you may want to set it up based on an RSS feed. It's important to note if you're considering using RSS so you can automate news based content, this is not a good idea. Due to ChatGPT's information not going past 2021, the model can give wrong information or even just make up plain details for current events. The RSS feature works much better if you're using it to pull data from something like a blog. Now, using RSS means you'll need to add another cron job to your server. If you want to rewatch our guide on cron job installations, click here. Once you've added your RSS cron job to the server, you just have to add the link to the RSS feed you'd like GPT AI Power to pull from. It's so easy, this is actually my first time ever using RSS feeds. So here I copy and pasted an RSS for a podcast, Colin and Samir. You can add as many RSS feeds as you like, up to 100. Once the cron job runs, you can see it has automatically added countless titles to the queue in just one run. Once you're in the queue, you can see each title's status, category, duration spent, tokens used, word count, API cost, and the AI model you're using for that task. If you enjoy GPT AI Powers Auto Writer, you'll probably love the new update for Google Sheets. Click here to learn how to set that up now. If you have any questions about setting up RSS feeds with GPT AI Power, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.